you come back, it's not gonna be good. Tyler? Ah! Edward? Is it- Calm down, Tyler. It's just me. <sighs> Sorry. Did you have a nightmare? Yes. Do you want to talk about it? Not really. Do you want me to leave you alone? No, Edward, wait! Please stay. I need some company right now. Very well. Edward, do you consider this as your home? Well, yes. The railway is my owner. Well, I don't. Is it because you're on loan to this railway? Yes. But you can stay here until the LMS wants you back. But that doesn't change the fact that I'm still not officially owned by the railway. I'll have to go back at some point, and I don't want to go home. W why not? <sighs> because... My old home is a horrible community. Everybody is rude, pompous, and annoying. Well, at least the new engines. Before they came, it was much better. Everybody was nice to each other. But as the new engines were transferred to our section, the old ones were eventually transferred away. And by the time the railways were nationalized, it was only me and my best friend Donny left. Then it wasn't long before I was transferred here. I see. Well, since the LMS has strived to standardize their system, they're starting to do away with the older locomotives. My old classmates are already being withdrawn, and I think a chance might soon appear where Topham will be able to officially purchase you, since they don't want an engine like you. You know he wants to. Yeah, I know. So I wouldn't worry if I were you. Why not go back to the sheds and finish the night's rest peacefully? Yeah, right. That would be nice. Let's go then. I'm right behind you. Where's that engine? Ah. Hello, Tyler. Huh? Jonathan? What are you doing here? Jeez, what a way to greet your owner. It's the best way to greet you. My, my. Such attitude won't last back home. Why should I care? Because that's exactly where you'll be heading soon. What do you mean? Well, you're going back home, as per the contract. That seems a little random. Didn't it say that you would give a date beforehand on when you wanted me back? We did. In the contract. Th no no you didn't. Yes we did. I have it right here. See? <laughs> By signing this paper, the owner will retain full ownership of Highland Railway A-Class 460 until... 
April 3rd, 1929. That's strange. I don't remember it saying that. Well, you must be remembering wrong. I'm downright positive it didn't say that. Well, you have to be remembering wrong. This is the contract. It even has Topham's signature and all. Weird. I heard my name. Was it you, Tyler? Oh, Jonathan. I didn't expect you here. What can we do for you? Oh, so you people never read contracts. Pardon? I might need glasses or something. I'm honestly bewildered that you didn't fully read the contract. But I'll be nice and give you four days to do the necessary arrangements. Thank you. I'll get right to it. Who is that man? He's the shed master at my old home. He's come to pick me up. Pick you up? Wouldn't he give you a warning beforehand? Well, apparently we've been remembering the contract wrong. It did actually contain a date for when I was supposed to return. Strange. I don't remember that. Neither do I. Nor do I. But there's really nothing I can do about it. I'm sorry, Tyler. This is all my fault. It's alright, sir. I'm partially responsible as well. I hope this will stand as a learning experience for the lot of you. Oh, there was actually another thing I was supposed to run by you, Topham. Even with Tyler returning, I'll still be in need of another engine to help around my section. I was wondering if we could arrange a two-month loan for your Furnace K2 here. Can't you just get an engine from another of the thousands of shares on your railway? No, they couldn't spare an engine of my needs. And after looking at his stats, Edward here is exactly what I was looking for. Can't you just get the LMS to build another engine? Yes, I could. But you know an engine takes time to construct. That's why I'm only asking for a two-month loan. What do you say, Edward? If it's with Tyler, I'm fine with it. <sighs> Very well. I'll go make the arrangements. Thank you, Topham. Why? I want to see your old home. Do you really? I'm scared to go home. You know me, Tyler. I'll be right beside you. Thank you, Edward. That means so much to me. It's my pleasure, Tyler. That seems quite fishy. I think so too. I'm almost willing to put coal on it, that's how sure I am that it didn't say that. But it's not worth arguing about it. We'll just have to accept. Well, I think I speak for all of us when I say we're going to miss you, Tyler. And I'm certainly going to miss you. You are the best engines I've ever met. And I hope I'll be able to visit you again at some point. That I hope too. You've done very well for us these past five years. Thank you for all your hard work, Tyler. No problem. I've immensely enjoyed my stay. If only it could last a little bit longer. If only... Goodbye everyone! Goodbye Tyler! Hope to see you again someday! Likewise! Safe travels! Thanks! So, Tyler, where is your old home exactly? It's in Scotland. Oh goody, this'll be a long trip. It's not that bad, it's very scenic. Well that's something I guess. Well, 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 returning in all his glory. Hello, Tyler. Long time no see. Hello, Donnie. How lovely to see you again. Likewise. You've got company, I see. Who would your friend be? This is Edward. Edward, this is Donnie. Hello, Donnie. A pleasure to meet you, Edward. What brings you up here? Apparently some uh, help was needed around this section, so uh, I'm here on loan. I see. In all honesty, I wouldn't say that we've been struggling lately. But I guess any help is appreciated. I'll be happy to help. 
Excellent. Would you like- Well, 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 look who returned. Oh, bother. Are you seeing this, Ben? He finally returned, ready to get back to doing my work. And my work too. We've been struggling for such a long time without you since we've had nobody to take our trains. Shut up, you two. You've both been doing downright nothing all this time you've been here. Quiet down, old timer. That's no way to speak to your superior. Indeed, you should be thanking us for the help we've provided you. Without us, you would have been overworked. No, he wouldn't, because we already had plenty of useful and reliable locomotives before you came. You have no right to talk to us like that. You've just come home, why even bother? And why take a blue furnace with you? We don't need that rubbish. I'll have you know, my dear chap. We on the furnace railway could give you a run for your money. That ought to be the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. What a load of rubbish. At least we can pride ourselves on a Baltic tank engine. Well, well actually, yes, well, but, you know, uh, I mean, well, yeah. That'll do, everyone. We have a lot of work to do. Donny, I want you to take a commuter train. Clarence and Ben, the usual express duties. And Tyler and Edward, I want you to double-head a goods train. Understood? That's it? Understood? Yes. yes! Thank you. Now get to work. This'll be fun. Trust me, Edward, this is just a mild scenario. Oh, goody. Hello, Stanley. Hello, sir. Can I ask you a question? Sure, what is it? For how long can you leave the yard unattended? Depends on the reason. Why? I was just wondering if it would be possible for you to take one of Edward's usual commuter trains in 15 minutes. Since he and Tyler aren't here at the moment, we have to shuffle around a bit to make the schedule work. Percy will be coming down here in about 50 minutes if that helps. That should be fine. Thank you, Stanley. This isn't going to work in the long run. I wonder if there are any trains like Tyler available. Let me find the index. Hmm? What's this? Oh dear. Seems Jonathan left the contra... C contracts. Why would there be a need for two contracts if I was only going to sign one? Unless... By signing this contract, the supplier agrees to a two-month loan of Northwestern Railway number two. That's what it said in the one I was shown, and it's not the one I signed. Surely there wouldn't be a difference in this one. Wait a minute. By signing this contract, the supplier agrees to give complete ownership of Northwestern Railway Number 2 to the LMS? No, he didn't, that bastard. Oh! Stanley! Boy, am I happy to see you! Is that meant to be sarcastic? No, it isn't. Would you understand if I didn't believe that? Because you don't? Indeed. Whatever you have to say to me, I don't care. No, Stanley. <sighs> we need to talk. Who says need? Me and the rest of the Wellsworth and Suttery crew. Please, Stanley. It's likely the last time we're going to see each other in a long time. Well, you have five minutes. Thank you, Stanley. So... What is it? Well, first of all, this is not supposed to be a long and boring apology. You won't buy that. We just want you to know that we now fully understand why you felt the way you did. What do you mean? Well, the whole thing with being bullied and neglected and those types of things. We get it now. Why? Because... All that stuff is what we're experiencing at the moment. Wait, what? 
the newer and more modern LMS engines at our section make us look outdated since we're from the 1880s, and they're surely taking advantage of that, with constant bullying, and it doesn't help the fact that we're all the signs of the Southern Railway. And we realize that that's exactly what you experienced on the time frame you worked for us. We fully get why you hated us, and we feel horrible about that. We're happy for you that you're on the Northwestern now. It seems like a much better place for you. And you should consider yourself lucky about that, since if it had been only like one or two years later, it would have likely never happened. Why? Because the LMS engines are trying to get you absorbed with them. Huh? Indeed. I'm not allowed to say this, but I don't care anymore. The LMS is secretly trying to get you absorbed because they're still salty about you not being there back in 1923. Everyone was loaned to the LMS, right? Yes. Well, no. What Topham signed was a different contract that basically meant he has given Edward to the LMS. Why Edward? Because he's an engine that would have been an LMS engine. They're essentially taking what's theirs. But we got a parliament dispensation. Breaking that would bring the LMS in severe trouble. They don't seem to care. That's really messed up. What do we do? Acquire as much evidence as possible. The LMS is likely to take you to court, so being prepared is important. Very well. I'll pass the word around. Oh, and Adam? Yeah, thank you. Thank you? Thank you. Not just for the warning, but for the apology. I accept it. It's good to see that you've all become better engines. Thank you for that. No problem. Thank you for that, Stanley. And that's my cue to leave. Can you pass the word on to the others that I accept? Sure thing, Stanley. Thank you very much. I... I don't know what to say. Do you believe them? Yes. Wait, really? Why? Well, my driver's brother is a higher up at the LMS, who was recently transferred to work on the solar section. He has inside knowledge about schemes like that. He told my driver about it, and I think that he was likely the one who told Adam. Oh my. All of a sudden I feel uneasy. You have no need to worry, Toby. Why not, sir? We're likely going to be absorbed. Not if I have a say in the matter. What do you mean? Since they're planning to take us to court about this, bow to hell with it, I'm doing it first. You're... taking the LMS to court? The biggest railway company in the country? Who's run by a bunch of nutters. People who shouldn't work their title. Also, by me doing it first, I'll be able to catch them off guard. I'm willing to bet that this will be the biggest risk the railway will ever take in its history. But honestly, sir, you're a man with knowledge that stretches for miles. You've clearly thought this through. The LMS don't know what's coming. Thanks for the support, Stanley. So, when's the big day? No exact at the moment. But I'd say within three weeks or so, we'll have an answer. Very well, sir. You do you. It can only go well. So you'll be put on standby moving forward for some time. Standby? If that's all you have for me to do, was the loan really worth it? What was that? Questioning the man who gives commands? Not very professional, Edward. Because of such rude behavior, you'll stay in this siding until I decide otherwise. Understood? I hardly said anything. Understood? Yes. Thank you. What was that? I have no idea. Here's a man who stuck up his own ass. Imagine receiving an engine on loan only to put said engine on standby duty. And when said engine simply questions the action, it's immediately told off for rude behavior. How's that? Just downright stupid. STUPID! My dear Edward chap, given your age, I thought you would know better than to question the man in control of you. I find this punishment perfectly reasonable. Just like the time when you took on bad coal and was blamed for it? Shh! Don't talk about that! I will admit that was a little bit rude, but not comparable to this. Those two can make an engine lose his mind. Yep, I can attest, since I once did and got in trouble for it. I see. Anyways, I gotta go now. Commuter train. Kinda have to pull it. I understand. Good luck.
Topham? What are you doing here? Hello, Edward. It's lovely to see you again, but I'm not here for a friendly visit. There's a lot more to it. Go on. I was to stay here? Yes, but that is something I would never allow to happen. This is a serious matter that needs attention. Jonathan, that bastard. He's the rudest man I've ever met. And I've met a lot of dicks in the past. I can imagine. Jonathan also really gets on my nerves. But I need to find him so this can be resolved quickly. Hey! What are you doing there? You're supposed to be within station limits. What are you doing to my engine? I specifically said no one should touch- Oh! Top him? <clears throat> what can I do for you on this lovely day? You, my friend, can come with me to court. Wait, what? This court is now in session. Our case, the Northwestern Railway versus the London Midland and Scottish Railway. Plaintiff, Sir Topham Hatt of the Northwestern Railway, and defendant, Jonathan Sonny of the LMS. The plaintiff may have the word. Thank you, Your Honor. Though it might have seemed like my railway and the LMS were on good terms with each other, it's never been plain sailing. Constant arguments were had between the two of us. They've usually been to no harm, but the latest one seems to tell a different story. Sanctions from the LMS, weird timetables, and a negative attitude towards my workforce. This is clearly because the LMS still wants us to be absorbed with them, like the Wellsworth and Sodomy on Sodor. Such an action goes against the dispensation from Parliament back in 1923, made so we could be allowed to operate independently. And the two latest contract signings I undertook with them has been most awakening. This is because the two contracts I signed were not the original ones I was shown. What we think happened in both cases is a switch rule quickly swapping out the contract before signage. And that's why I'm suing the LMS for contract fraud and attempted break of parliament dispensation. Does the defendant have anything to say against these allegations? Indeed, your honor. While the bickering part between of us is correct, I can assure you that the allegations are not. Those so-called sanctions towards you were a result of a reduction in traffic from the companies in the furnace area. If I'm not mistaken, work in those areas have gone up these past couple of years. Why would that result in lesser traffic? Because many of those companies have switched their form of transport to roads, leaving us with less goods to carry. Anyway, the change timetables are because we are trying to make everything line up with all our services. You have to take into account that we're the largest railway company in the UK, so scheduling is an extremely hard task. We're still experimenting, but one thing I would like to make clear is that we would never do such a stated thing with a contract. Nor would we under any circumstances attempt to break a dispensation from Parliament. Such action would provide serious consequences. Thank you, Jonathan. Lawyers, do you have anything to contribute? Yes, I do, Your Honor. To add further to Jonathan, if the LMS would ever do something so big as try to absorb such a large section, they would take it to Parliament with the Northwestern Railway to try and work something out. And if the Northwestern Railway was still against it, we would accept and move on. Mr. Hatt's lawyer, do you have anything to add? Only that the case with the Northwestern Railway's number two, a former LMS engine, is a major red flag. Since if not investigated, said engine might not be the only one. Thank you for your words, gentlemen. Following will be a 15 minute break, after which the investigation report will be revealed. Thank you. Well? It's promising, but the LMS are smart people, and they aren't giving up. I just hope that the investigation report contains more than the two contracts they left behind, thereby confirming the situation. What if we lose? Whatever will happen if we lose is up to the jury. Anyway, the break is almost over. I have to get back. Good luck, sir. Thanks. I'll definitely need it. Alright, investigator. Present your findings. Thank you, your honor. We've conducted a thorough investigation to which we have several findings to present. I'll begin with the allegations of contract fraud. We've concluded that there was definitely a switch. During the signage of the latest contracts between the LMS and the Northwestern Railway, there was not one, but two contracts present. Witnesses of the event state that Topham was shown one of the contracts, and one I have right here. It contains a fair and peaceful loan of a Northwestern Railway engine. However, this contract doesn't contain a signature from Topham. The contract that was actually signed was another one I have right here, which does contain Topham's signature, and almost the same content, with the exception of a section on the very last page. Allow me to read from the first one. By signing this contract, the supplier agrees to a two-month loan of Northwestern Railway number two. This was from the one that Topham didn't sign. Now let me read from the one that he did sign. By signing this contract, the supplier agrees to give a complete ownership of Northwestern Railway No. 2 to the LMS. It's a small change, but it has a very different meaning. And also, this wasn't the first time that it happened. What? 
During the first signage where Topham signed the loan of Highland Railway A-Class 460, number 65, there were likewise two contracts involved. The ones I have right here. The one that Topham signed, and the one he was shown. But you can't confirm that Topham was shown two different contracts. What if he was shown the same one and agreed to it? I can indeed. If you look at the back page of these two contracts, you'll be able to notice one has a blob of ink at the top of the page. This is the one that Topham was shown, not the one he signed. And based on the testimony given by witnesses, the one he was shown was indeed the one with the ink stain, while the one he signed didn't contain any ink stains, even after the signature. Okay, so I know on whoever wrote the contract, but what if Jonathan accidentally took both with him despite not intending to? What if he accidentally made Topham sign the wrong one? Well, based on what we collected, the action described by Topham has been proved to be completely true. What? In front of me right now is a notebook that proves it all. This book is an ownership of Jonathan's neighboring shedmaster, Peter Williams. If we go to page 14, it contains minutes taken from a meeting between Jonathan, LMS Chairman Josiah Charles Stamp, and other board members, including Peter. The quotes he took read with Josiah encouraging Jonathan to go forward with the action under the highest level of secrecy. Peter took these notes since he didn't agree with the action that was about to be undertaken. Why didn't he speak up about it? Because he was scared that he was going to be fired. Anyway, this notebook also contains a paper note from Jonathan's office, which Peter found under his desk during a visit. This note contains a list of different actions Jonathan was to undertake, which were lined out by Josiah Stamp. And for one final piece of evidence, testimony from various people working for Jonathan state that while passing his office, they seemed to hear Jonathan talking to himself about how he was going to revolutionize Sodor once it was absorbed into the LMS. Thereby, based on the evidence we found, we can hereby confirm that the allegations made towards Jonathan Sonny of the LMS are proven correct. <sighs> Alright jury, what is your ruling? Our ruling, your honor, is that based on the facts presented to us here, a lot of schemey stuff did happen behind the scenes. Therefore, we find the defendant, the LMS, guilty of all charges. Thank you, gentlemen. It is hereby the court's ruling that the LMS is guilty of two cases of contract fraud and attempted break of parliament dispensation. It is also the court's ruling that the LMS has to pay compensation to the Northwestern Railway consisting of X Highland Railway A Class 460 number 65 and the Wellsworth and Sodary section of Sodor. We are adjourned. Well done, sir. I can't believe it. I'm relieved too, Edward. Everything worked out as I hoped, and I'm so happy to be bringing you home with me, Tyler. Indeed. You belong with us so much more than with Jonathan. I agree. I can't wait to go back. Sir, just out of curiosity, did anything else occur from the verdict? Well, we gained another branch. Do you mean the Wellsworth and Suttery? Yes, we also gained ownership of that branch. All railways on Soda United. Took long enough, but I'm excited. So am I, Edward. I'll be looking forward to exploring that section. And Tyler, welcome back. Thank you, sir. You're the best man I've ever met.